Let's be clear about what this agreement does. It permits the assault on Aleppo to continue for another week. It requires opposition groups to stop fighting, but it allows Russia to continue bombing terrorists, which it insists is everyone, even civilians. This is diplomacy in the service of military aggression. And it's working because we are letting it. At the same, at the same time, it is an opportunity for us to turn our undivided attention on Daesh, which is probably the single most challenging global threat. Again, this is a chance to work together on issues which unite rather than divide.